All right, everybody, it's Tinker's Construct time. This is the level specifically for Tinker's Construct. It's one level above my maintenance level. And actually, let me quickly show you this as well. I planted all of my Ender Lilies and they're already growing quite nicely. Wow, I'm already taking damage from them as well. Good, good, grow into some healthy Ender Pearls, all of you. So. What I've been doing is I've been actually grinding some cobblestone so I have a lot of sand, a little bit of gravel here and even more gravel in here because if I crush cobblestone with this mod I'm getting gravel. So this is what I need for Tinker's Construct, a bunch of sand, a bunch of gravel and also a bunch of clay and there's actually no easy way to get clay as far as I know but thankfully I have two stacks I think just from quarry and by the way I actually <laughs> I double checked my triple checking and it turns out there was a little bit of obsidian in this chest still not nearly enough for me to actually do things with flux networks and I already placed a new shape card in here but I thought I will launch this thing with you so let me press this button and let's quickly go upstairs to see how that goes quarry should have all the energy it needs now and it's going to be clearing this area basically oh yeah by the way to make sure that i don't just suddenly lose my ability to fly i moved all of these blocks that generate power that allows me to fly down to my maintenance level it's pretty much below well a couple levels below this marble and look at it go oh my gosh that's amazing so yeah let's go down let's see if i can craft enough enough of whatever i need to make tinker's construct stuff i guess it's seared bricks um actually wait a second before that let me get all of that out of here so quarry can actually move resources in here and this cobblestone can go over here okay okay gosh at this speed it's just gonna get stuck real soon but whatever i mean it's not like i don't even have enough energy to really quarry this whole thing right maybe i do three energy cells with eight million redstone flux each that's pretty good okay so yeah basically let's craft this uh, grout thingy just like this thankfully clay is what i need the least of so hopefully i can craft a lot of grout oh and i'm getting eight for each as well that's good wait a second Wait, that's not... Oh, I guess it went into the system then? No, wait, what? Oh, yeah, because all of these things are in my inventory. It just didn't craft as much as it can. Okay, now... 64. Another 64. Look at this. Okay, that's... That's more than I need, probably. Which is actually kind of bad. Because that's more than I need. I might need clay for something else. Okay, but let me place it all. Actually, well, those two can smelt it like this. Bismuth, I need your help. Okay, good, good. And that's probably gonna be faster anyway, so I might as well do that. And I also made some upgrades, by the way. I made some upgrades for this pulverizer. So not only I'm just pulverizing cobblestone in here, but I'm also pulverizing it even faster basically this is now a hardened pulverizer and it has an augmentation that makes it even faster so yeah that's cool and as i said earlier i'm gonna try to start replacing all of my extra utilities crushers and furnaces with thermal expansion ones because i think they're just better okay thank you bismuth and actually yeah let me get this and do it using bismuth as well i've seen a few people in the comments asking why don't i use warp pads for my teleportation needs well 
I'm actually surprised anyone is asking that because there is a lot of reasons not to use warp pads. Number one, I'm not sure if you saw the first season of this Let's Play, but they are ridiculously laggy and buggy. I remember getting into bed after using one of these things and just being stuck in there, unable to, unable to get up and having to do slash kill to actually <laughs> get out of bed. Not to mention that every single time I use them, I will just... I will just be unable to break any blocks and I will have to restart the world. And I think some of those things have been fixed since then, but I'm not sure if all of them have been fixed. If that's not enough, then, well, they're actually quite expensive. They require a lot of... Uh, a lot of quartz. And the only way for me to get quartz is by manually mining it from the nether. But teleportation pads from RF tools require materials that I can get using... Well, they require a lot of ender pearls, which I can pretty much automate at this point with those ender lilies. And also they require a bunch of... Well, they require a bunch of other resources that quarry can get. So it's actually gonna take a lot more time getting warp pads. Not to mention that I actually need quartz for some other things like... Well, like refined storage storage cells, which is a lot more important. And the final thing is that I can't I can't even use those warp pads to travel through dimensions. Okay, I can only use them to travel through this dimension. And before someone says in the comments, "Oh, but if you install the latest version, they have a different kind of warp pad." No. 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 This is the latest version. The only other version is an alpha version, which just so happened to be for 1.12 version of Minecraft anyway, so even if I really wanted to install this buggy version that is being released only for the sole purpose of making sure that once it's finally released there is no bugs, even if I want to risk this whole world just crashing constantly, I can't install it, <laughs> but I also won't install it because that's just stupid why would they install this buggy thing okay i i'm glad we got this out of the way i'm glad i answered all of your questions because people in the comments were quite passionate about it like oh it's so much cheaper and simpler and easier how can you forget about it oh i remember war pads i remember war pads all right okay so let's start building smeltery and actually before smeltery I need a bunch of other things as well, but I thought I would start with smeltery, because why not? It's the most important thing, and if I remember correctly, you can actually build it pretty much in any shape you want, so I want to make it a little bit bigger than I usually do. So maybe let's make it kind of like this, so I don't even need this block. And four blocks from each side, one, two, three, four, kind of like this. And here we have an aquamarine. How are you doing, guys, by the way? One aquamarine climbed all the way over here. The other one is already on the Tinker's Construct level. And the third aquamarine is nowhere to be... Oh, <laughs> there you are. Hi. Okay. And by the way... You can't get glowstone from what Rutile places, okay? This thing that Rutile places looks a lot like what you can get glowstone from, but it's not the same thing. It's basically... You can get it only from that thing that appears when you inject gems. Yep. So... That's just another comment I saw. And it's now answered. So, okay, this is basically the foundation. And I'll still have to remove a bunch of blocks, like for a... For a lava storage, for a controller... And a bunch of other things. And also, let me replace the floor as well. So, yeah, there is actually a level below here. This is the maintenance level, so I can actually... Start expanding this room. When I'm ready. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, it's already full. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that later. For now, uh, yeah, this is the maintenance level. And also below that, there is... Well, let's actually go take a look 
here is the extra utilities generators and basically i can replace all of this alabaster with some more water mills to improve its efficiency well i i still have to place a bunch more water if i'm gonna do it but i don't even need to do it yet so whatever okay let's keep destroying this it's been a while since I've done anything with Tinker's Construct. But I'm an expert on Tinker's Construct, of course, so it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Might need to refresh my memory, but that's why I got this book in my inventory. Just for this kind of a scenario. Okay, so I don't really want to use those steel bricks yet, because I need a bunch of other things, and let's make those things now. And hopefully I will have enough of these blocks. Okay, which is not that block. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, so I need a controller. Let's just tinkers. Okay, I need a smeltery controller. I need a tank. Oh, piece of glass. Well, actually, why am I doing this? Why am I even doing this in here? Well, I can do it in here. With access to my entire inventory. Okay, where is this tank? There it is. There we go. I also need this thing and maybe even a couple of these. If I still have a few seer bricks left. Casting table, for sure. As well as... Hmm, well, I'm not... I'm not sure if I will need that, but let's make it. Sure. Why not? Smeltery drain as well. And once again, maybe a couple of them. And I think that's it. I really think that is it. So let's go and place them. And how many blocks do I need in here? Oh man. Well, I might have to remove one of the levels from this thing. Okay. Controller is going to be in the middle, so tank goes in here. Controller. Smeltery drain. Well... I wanted to place it on a second level, but now I'm just not sure if I will have enough blocks to build two levels. Hopefully I will. So, okay, there you go. And that, and this, as well as that, so maybe if I make another one of these, I can get out entire blocks out of this system. And now... Well, it's time to craft more blocks. I will be able to make six blocks. And I have another one, which is seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five blocks just per one line. Oh man, I don't have nearly enough resources. And I ran out of clay, right? That's what happened. Well, I still have eight clay. <laughs> I guess I can still make a little bit of something. Look at that. Two blocks. Okay. And... Uh, there we go. 16 more grout. Maybe I have some clay in here too. Let's see. Clay. Wait. <laughs> clay. No. That's still not enough. 11 blocks. Oh no. Oh no. I really don't want to remove this level. So I gotta find more clay. Well, this quarry is my best bet. So please, please find some clay. Because I think with a bunch of mods installed, you can actually find clay underground. And that's how I got clay from this quarry in the first place. But apparently just mined the whole chunk and didn't find any clay yet. Well, there is no clay and it just ran out of energy. Kind of. I still have 8 million redstone flux in another power cell. But this is sort of my emergency power cell. In case I completely run out of power with no way of generating it. Just keeping one power cell. So I can at least activate refined storage so i guess i'm just gonna remove this level for now okay good it's working now 
Except I won't be able to use this to get fluids out, so I guess I'll have to move that a level lower. But first, I actually need to make all of the basic Tinker's Construct things as well. So, let's see, what do I even need? Oh, there are so many different blocks, actually. So many different crafting tables. Well, there is a part builder. Really important thing. There we go. There's also stencil table. Actually, maybe I don't even need part builder because there is part forge. Or something like this. And I think it's pretty much the same thing, only it can make even more different things. It needs a lot of iron. But thankfully, <laughs> I've got a lot of iron. So let's go. And actually, I could have done it with other resources as well. Oh no, it needs some seared bricks as well. And a tool station. Oh, that's right, it's, that's what it kind of replaces or upgrades. Well, gotta remove a couple of blocks from that level again. Okay, but now I can make it. Alright. And I think that might be it. That's all the basic things from Tinker's Construct. I don't really need Tool Station, now that, now that I have Tool Forge. So let's just place them over here, for now. Okay, and I kinda wanna skip this whole making bad tools part. I kinda wanna make the most basic tool that I can, that can mine those advanced ores, and then mine them straight away and get something Cool, but before that there's still a bunch of things I need to do. I need to prepare some some patterns. I need to create sort of golden patterns for smeltery and all of that. And I think I'm gonna do it in between episodes. Maybe I'm even gonna get a little bit more clay to finish this level. But that's it with this episode. Tinker's Construct is in the works. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video.